Welcome back to the next installment of our series uh, Office 365. Um, in the last video, we assigned users uh, or a user a Microsoft Office uh, license. In this video, we want to install it on a computer. So, normally, if you're the system admin, users don't have to do it. Like, uh, when you give them a new computer or desktop or laptop you do all installation if you remember from our videos from the imaging we talked over and over that we make a master image everything installed in there and we just deploy it but uh, if office uh, your um, company is migrating to office 365 or part of uh, uh, users are not already have the office the 365 installed on their computers uh, in that case either you or them have to install it so easier way is just send a link they install it and they log in with their the credentials and they're good to go so it's just a matter of installing a software but sometimes users don't have um, I'm not gonna say sometime uh, like almost all of the time uh, users are, are not allowed to install the software and you have to go and install it so we're gonna show uh, two scenarios one scenario is that uh, an admin installs the um, software on it and then we're gonna use the um, for example a user buy his own device and he want to connect it to his work how does he do from the windows so not in this video but soon because for that i have to uh, create another virtual machine so if you remember over there there was uh, an option in the uh, beginning of uh, in the end of the setup uh, uh, installation uh, either connect to the uh, your home or sorry work or organ, uh, educational institute uh, network or create a local account so for this since we are we have assigned uh, uh, a user <laughs> okay where are the this page is empty what happened let's refresh it maybe it's been out of sync refresh where are all my users okay that's weird who I am who I am logged in I'm logged in with the right one Azure ready connect is running where are my users active users okay now they're back so I think because I left the computer overnight so basically Aslan he needs to access Office 365 um, on a computer since Aslan cannot go and um, install it we have to install it for him and so let's fire up another virtual machine Windows 10 right here and or I'm gonna go so how to check uh, what what you can install um, basically the user can go to office.com oh Alan is here let's go with the other so it's still saying Imran can we I dot org slash um, Aslan H will this work nope okay so it's still the
So log out. Oh god, this cough is killing me. <laughs> Sign out anyway, yeah. So we want to log in with SLNH. So basically, we change as land to I Hamid. Right? Is that the case? Yes. Nope. This is interesting. So it's working uh, ever since uh, changing the domain name. It's working for all the user. Well, with the Imran dot local account. <coughs> so I wanted this video to install uh, Office three sixty five. I I all I have to do is click here and it will start downloading. But uh, this been this has become a trial and error of a uh, domain stuff <clears throat> I feel like uh, Okay, it's, it worked for Imran and I know for a fact that Imran right here is on iHamid. I have no idea why it's not working for Aslan H. Let's go sign out one more time. Because... Let's go with Bill. This time I'm gonna sign with Bill. I know. So even Bill worked. Uh, and for as an H it was giving us errors 
sign out. I want to say it was the machine was off, turned off. So it hadn't received everything from in terms of uh, group policies etc from the server. Let's test that through D now. Give Aslan H another try. Okay, now we are in. So I think that was it because the machine was off for too long. Um, it uh, it hadn't been updated from the server like in enterprise uh, no, uh, level or businesses uh, you never shut down the computer they're always running at the end of your shift you just restart them so I think it, it, that was it it was a good uh, video uh, I'm glad we um, saw this so I'm gonna end this video right here because and rather than wasting your 11 or 12 minutes into just looking for installing office uh, let's end this here make a trial and error for after domain update and then I'm gonna create the video for the office installation after this one